when my family came to the West Island and we moved to a building called the 506 Maywood, which was one of those apartment buildings facing St. John. And it was on Maywood Road, which is now St. John. The West Island, the sexy suburbs of Montreal. At one time, a series of 18th and 19th century style Quebec villages. There was a couple over here. Hello. There was some down here. Bonjour. There was a Lone Ranger all the way over here. Cuckoo. And everything else in between was essentially just a farm. Eventually, huge residential developments grew out of these villages, creating the area officially, yet not officially known as the West Island. <laughs> Except it was called the Lakeshore. It was never called the West Island until the 70s. Now looking at old maps and pictures of the West Island from no more than about 120 years ago, it does look quite unrecognizable. Aside from the shoreline, the train tracks, nothing really looks the same, except for these three absolutely beautiful lines. Our North and South lifelines, St. Charles, St. John's, and Sources, our seignorial roads, squeezing right through the seignorial farms. Going back in time through these old maps, these three beauties have helped me locate what what is where and where is what? It seems as though they've always been there. Just how long? Well, in a document from 1722 called Arrêt du Conseil d'État du Roi, it made reference to Côte Saint Remy, which is present day Sources Boulevard, as the eastern border of the parish of Point Claire. The document also mentioned an unnamed road, which today is St. Charles. However, in a book published in 1893, all three roads were mentioned with their proper name, which means somewhere between 1722 and 1893, all roads came into prominence with the same names they have today in the same place that they are today. Kind of. I did find one discrepancy right here. As far back as I can go, St. John's shows to have these beautiful curves. Back when St. John's had some great curve appeal, it appears. <laughs> now before you think I could be wrong, take a look at this article from 1953, in reference to land purchased for an eventual high school. And I quote, the location of the land immediately north of St. John's Road where it runs east and west some distance north of the present day garbage dump. Remember the dump? It's back. <laughs> so what's going on here? Because at the time, the old St. John's Boulevards went up past the plaza, up, up the hill, past what is now the police station and the city hall, which wasn't there at the time, then took a 90 degree right turn, then it went straight north on what is now Maywood, right up to the other side of the island. And that's the way that it was. However, the West Island was developing and eventually they developed a road going straight up from where that curve was. Now you couldn't have two St. John's's, so they had to give it a completely new name just for that little stretch. And that name was Maywood. Are you seeing where I'm going here? <laughs> St. Jean was called Maywood and it was a two-way road. It wasn't like it is now. It wasn't a boulevard. Narrow, it was narrow road and no sidewalks or anywhere, anything like that. It was, it was really a, a country road. So now we have St. John's and we have Little Maywood. And it was like that for about six years until the Council of Point Claire thought it looked ridiculous, rightly so, and decided to switch it, putting Maywood off to the east where it is today. And then as of 1962, St. John's became a beautiful straight line as I think it always should have been. So that means it's been, it's been 60 years. It's the 60th anniversary of Straight John's. <laughs> So is this the most intriguing story of the West Island? Probably not. Would some people find this interesting? Hopefully so. Do I find this to be an interesting story at all? Absolutely. And I can go on and on about the West Island streets, roads, and underpasses, and overpasses, and who the heck was the Picasso who built this thing? <laughs> But alas, I have run out of time for this endangered short. 